Hey, you may have watched a viral construction video where the shuttering and farmwork failed during slab concreting. Now the question is why it happened and what are the reasons behind this failure? So in this short video, we will be analyzing different reasons behind this failure. Number first, as you can see when the person with handbaro arrives to the slab, the failure starts from the left hand side where we can notice some double story shuttering without any proper bracing. And of course, some shuttering columns are not placed on the ground surface where we can easily notice the moment of those columns. So if we have to provide double story shuttering because of enough height, then there must be some kind of strong surface right between two columns as well as there must be proper bracing. Number second, as we can see at some places they have provided and placed two columns at only one point on a ground surface which is not a genius method of course. So at a time we should not bring two columns to one point because of which we can have more load on the same point and surface of course where we can lose bearing capacity of the surface and in this time the columns can go down and of course we can have failure. Number third, in the same video as you can see a lot of columns are not vertical which can be a huge reason and this can be an invitation to failure of course because of sloped column the column can get buckling and can be moved with little force so better to place all columns vertically. Number fourth, a lot of shatterings and farmers failure can happen because of this reason. The reason I'm talking about is the ground compaction. I mean the ground below each column must be compacted and some hard strata like concrete block, bricks, stone blocks or wooden plank must be provided below the columns. We are here in the same video, if you see the failure at the middle point may be because of this reason because at that point the slab is moving below direct vertically. Number fifth, just watch and stop the video after failure right here. So we can notice a problem in the reinforcement fixing. As you can see the overlapping and the rebars are in the same line which should not be like that because sometimes the rebars are also supports by their self. Number six. Number six can be the distance between two columns. As you can see the span between two columns is enough more which is also not a huge problem of course but however it's better to provide extra columns and some extra beam depth if you building a structure without structure analysis and design. And that's said, Hey, failure is not a good news. However, I got a good news here, which is no one is gone. And of course, no one is injured. Because if you play the video and focus on the labors, so during slave failure, we can see only seven persons fallen down. And then let's go and check after slave failure, we got seven persons walking and moving from the site. That's really a good news. Thank you dears for watching. See you next time. Hello, salam.